The Mark Group Eco House, it's got so much technology in it, it's giving us a chance to see how a house can possibly function with modern technology that will save energy. It's great. And technology is not always the answer to how we reduce our energy usage. But if we're looking at social housing, if we're looking at private landlords, we need to put systems into houses that can almost run themselves. You have to learn how systems work together. If we look at the Eco House, there's so much in here. All the data is going to be collected, all the data is going to go through the university. It's going to allow us to say, a control mechanism for this will mean that people will be using less energy, it'll cut down their bills, make the quality of life better. You know, improving people's quality of life by improving how they use their energy, it's got to be a win-win. I declare the Mark Group House open for business. So we can have all of this technology in a home, but for me one of the key things is how does that technology perform when the homes are lived in? And that's the key thing we're doing here at Creative Energy Home. So our instrumentation is giving us a whole load of data and we've got a team of researchers here that will pull that together, feed it back into to the research partners we're working with to understand how these homes are actually performing and how the technologies perform right across the year with different uses. How much is it going to cost to run these homes? It's a key issue, not just about environmental savings, reducing carbon emissions, but also reducing costs to the homeowners, taking people out of fuel poverty.